Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. Happy Fun Cells Friday to you all. Uh, sorry this one is a little bit delayed. Uh, it is my bad. <laughs> It has been one of those months. But anyway, I have a few off the canvas bits or sort of off the canvas slash accessory bits to share with you today from fan cells. Um, I think in this lot, one of them is actually something that was requested um, by a member of the Facebook group. Um, they mentioned that they liked the look of them. So, Let's dive right in. First one, um, a fairly, a really cheap one actually on the site, but I thought it would be handy, potentially, um, it needs a bit of a wipe down, uh, potentially for in the Add More Zest shop. But let me get the top on. It is. It was less than a couple of pounds, this. Does it go on that way? I feel like it should go on that way so that it hits there. But maybe it needs to be on it to unskew it itself. <laughs> it's a little bit skew it. But as I say, it's less, it was less than two pounds if I remember rightly. So for the price, it, it, it will sort itself out. There you go. It's gripped on. Um, it's just a little desktop bin. Um, I do have this one, um, which I diamond painted that I use quite a lot when I'm kitting up, uh, but it's always handy to have another bin. This might actually end up on the dining table or on the windowsill in the conservatory. Um, I'm not quite sure yet. It might start there, but there is forever little bits of, you know, crisp wrappers and things like that, so bits of paper that end up floating about. Um, and while we're really close to the kitchen, they tend to just sit there until they get moved to the kitchen. Um, or I might use it, as I say, in Add More Zest um, for in there. But I thought for the price, it is it is not hard to have another little sort of desktop bin. Maybe I'll use it for my quilting to put my little scraps in when I'm quilting which is another thing I do on the dining table so anyway that is item number one to get rid of the wrapper because that will be staying out uh, then we have a small but cute item for number two um, these are some little hooks diamond painted hooks uh, and I thought these were really sweet because these types of hooks, this type, I actually use quite a lot um, with in my craft room. Uh, I have some with a, a bit of a bigger lap of plastic around the outside, um, but it's the same sort of concept. And that's actually what I hang my diamond paintings and things on. Um, but these were really cute because these are little sewing machines. So what you do is you pop your diamonds, you peel this off and you pop your diamonds on the front and then this hook actually goes through here. Um, so what you do is you use the sticky part to stick this onto here and then stick it on the wall or you can stick your hook part further down or to the side, further down probably in the middle would be better uh, and then you have this gorgeous design and a little hook. Um, there's a few different designs for it, they do all have a hole in the middle so if you do want to make it part of the hook you can or you can pop it underneath um, so that it hangs down underneath. But I thought these designs were pretty stinking cute. This one would have to go underneath. I think I prefer underneath anyway, to be honest, um, but it is a matter of personal preference. So for these, you get six. Uh, and this, this little range is all sewing machines. Go with my little quilting, maybe hang some of my rulers on there. Say rulers, I have one at the moment. <laughs> it's not like I have lots of them. Uh, I have one. But anyway, 
Uh, diamonds wise, so let's have a look at the sort of colours and things that we get in this one. So we get, it's all rhinestones slash special diamonds. So we have the clear or silver. We have some sort of, it's like a dark green. It's like a mossy green colour. Uh, turquoise, love that one. Blue, green, red, pink, two types of pink. Uh, then we've got like a bronze colour, orange. And then we have these gorgeous petal shapes in green. Uh, beautiful little pearls. Pearls in blue, petal shapes in blue, and petal shapes in pink. Uh, the numbers um, are on the front slash letters. So depending on which one it is. So if you can see some of the petal shapes are a letter uh, and a lot of the rhinestones are a number. And they're all detailed on the packs. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's get these popped back in here. I don't have to pop them back in the way they came out, but I do find I can often get things back in the box a little bit easier if they do. So that is number two. And then this is the one, yes, this is the one that was shown to me um, as somebody would love to see. So this is acrylic um, and this is a gorgeous acrylic clock. Uh, so we can see time heals all, but love never fades. Ah, oh, that's cute. Um, so that's written on the little plaque. You just put some rhinestones around the outside where these like little dots are uh, and then we've got flowers and butterflies you also put some round rhinestones around the clock face um, but not on the actual clock face itself uh, you do also get a stand so once you are done and your sheets of protective plastic are off this will fit into here really snugly so that it will stand up you also get the clock mechanism. You don't get the battery, uh, but it does take a double A battery. Sending batteries in the post is not entertaining. So um, I don't blame them uh, for not including those. So you do get your little clock parts. They're all in with your toolkit. So you've got all your little parts to assemble your clock once you've done, and you can have a fully working clock. The box is a bit bashed but the actual item itself is perfectly fine uh, but that was due to the amount of goodies that I had in the parcel along with <laughs> which was a fair amount um, so the ones for these we have some black rhinestones so they are silver backed but they are purely black on the front then we have, oh, they're gorgeous little pearls. There's no facets on these, which is why I call them pearly, uh, with like an AB coating in yellow. Rhinestones in a salmon pink, pale blue, green, orange, a pinky purple, pinky purple colour, a brown colour, which will probably be the bottom of the clock. Then we have some bigger pearls in white. Oh, gorgeous, like... They're not, they're circular, but they look a little bit sort of seashelly. They're textured on the top. Uh, and then we have some petals in yellow and silver. And then we have what I, what always reminds me of those little buttons on baby's cardigans in silver. So quite a few different diamonds in that one. Um, so I will pop links to each of these in the description down below. Um, there are sometimes different um, varieties of things. So the bin, there is the only one colour, which is described as sort of a blue. So to me, that has a bit of a grey feel to it, a grey blue. Um, it's quite a nice colour. I like it anyway. Um, yeah, so that does only come in one colour. But for example, the hooks, there are a few different designs. Also with the clocks, there are a few different designs. So if you like the concept, but maybe you're not as keen on the specific one that I've picked up, um, then do go check out their website. Say click on the link um, and then using the title 
uh, of the item, you can pick out keywords to pop into the search to find the other sort of varieties of the same sort of thing. Or of course, you can go on a very long browse like I often do uh, when it comes to picking goodies for Fan Cells Friday. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below which is your favourite from today's picking. Um, and do stay tuned, I am doing um, the next Fan Cells Friday next Friday uh, and I have some awesome storage for that. Um, very happy with that one but we've got some storage and then a couple of diamond paintings. But anyway thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.